That's a, that's a funny answer because Mr. Selig, my science research teacher, um, has never had a finalist in White Plains High School, so he has to learn how to prepare as much as I do. Um, but I'll definitely be going over my presentation a lot and trying to learn as much as I can about um, the topics related to, not necessarily my specific topic, but the topics related to birds and migration and the applications um, that this study can, can serve. Um, I had a team of expert volunteers that were gracious enough to help me out in that respect. So we counted morning flight on a number of mornings from late August to early November 2010. Volunteers submitted data to me on a standardized data sheet, and about 40,000 birds were recorded over the course of the season in this morning flight behavior. About 90% of them headed either north, northwest, west, or southwest, this big movement away from coastal areas, only 11% in the other directions. These are the mean direction of, of the morning flight overlaid onto where each station is. So it's easy to see those patterns when looking at this map. For example, marshlands, Quaker Ridge, ridiculous. Um, Quaker Ridge, uh, Chestnut Ridge, and Manhattan, once you get a little bit further inland, trying to move westerly. up many opportunities for me working with my mentor, Andrew Farnsworth, and the connections I've been able to make to with Cornell and other institutions that are um, well known in the in the field. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely been an advantage in that respect and just learning how to present in other classes that's a, a valuable skill that not everyone is able to learn in such a concrete manner.